Okay, so when you first turn on your box, it's gonna come to this screen. First thing you wanna do is go down to settings. Go to settings, go to your network, and set up your Wi Fi. And it says connected. Once it says connected, just go to the home page, hit the home button, or just press back, and then a lot of the apps are gonna be up here. But if you want to see them all, all you do is go down here and go to all apps. And I'm going to show you the main apps and then the other ones you can just play with and to figure them out. Um, Cyberflex is going to be your number one one for um, movies and TV shows. It literally gives you every TV show. All you do is press on the TV show that you want to watch. Let's just say um, Big Bang Theory. Go to season, click on season, you get every single season, every single episode, click on the season you want to watch, go to the episode you want to watch, click on it, and then just go to the play button on the right top right, click on that, then just wait for the streams to come up. And the best streams to pick, uh, when you see rapid video, rapid videos are really good. Open load, I stay away from those. I don't usually use those, but anything that's not open load, I usually, um, usually works pretty decent. But anytime you see rapid video, or if you see fast server, I'm not seeing any of those right now, but fast server is the best one. That's the ones I always pick if I see it, but rapid video will be my second choice. So I'm going to go with that one and then just press play. Previously on the Big Bang Theory. Just like Actually, that. I, I need to talk to both of you. Alright, I'm going to get out of here. Let's go back to the front page and then we're just going to go switch over here to the top left corner. Click on that and switch over the movies. Then you get all the movies. You go also TV shows or movies, you can go to the search button. Um, type it in and you, could, you should be able to get it as long as you type it in correctly. Movies, just press on the movie you want to watch. Get out of that that shouldn't come up i just did that this is the first time i opened it so that's why it came up um you can actually watch the trailer if you wanted to but if you want to watch the movie just go straight to the play button and this one's really new and i'm going to show you the difference between when they're really new and when they're been out for a little while um when you try to watch them like when they first come out in the theaters the quality is not going to be the greatest, just so you know. And you're going to be able to tell by the way well, it says cam. That cam means that it was recorded at the theater with a camera. So um, the quality is not going to be the best. Sometimes they're decent. They're not too bad. You can actually watch it. But the best thing I suggest is wait a couple of weeks until they put the good quality um, copies on. And then and then try to watch it. But if you want to watch right away, you can actually watch it. Once again, I picked rapid video for the best ones. And if you see that little circle thing happening for more than 30 seconds, that means that copy is probably not good. So you just want to just go back. I want to go back on this one and actually try a different copy. I want to look for maybe try stream angle there since all those other ones are up and load. And this one started right away. See, I mean, you see the, the WWC there. That means it's not a, it's not a regular copy. So the quality might not be the greatest, but you still be able to watch it. All right, that's how that works. Uh, let's go to a different program. Now the best, uh, you have all the programs for movies and TV shows like Freeflix, Megabox. Megabox doesn't always work, but you could try it. Live Lounge gives you movies and TV shows. Morpheus TV gives you movies and TV shows. TTV gives you movies and TV shows. Tubby TV. Um, TV Sign gives you movies and TV shows. And now we're going to get into the live TV. The best live TV one is this one right here. Tap TV. So 
this one right here is the one that you want for the live TV. This is my, my favorite one. You could try other ones, and if you like them better, you could always try those. Um, I'm gonna get out of there, and I'm gonna try that again because I want to get rid of that for you. It should not come up. I'm gonna click Do Not Show again. That way, you don't have to deal with that. All right. So, first thing you want to do is go to the three line button there, and you can switch over to entertainment, and you get all the regular channels like Fox, CBS, NBC, uh, the Oprah channel. Um, so you basically get all the regular channels, HGTV. Let's, let's click on that one real quick. Once it comes up, all you do is go over to where it says full screen, click on full screen, and there you go. It's like that. Um, sometimes the, that one that says change player, sometimes on the, on the left here, it's gonna say source one, source two. That means if one, if, if one of the sources is not working, you will click on change player and switch to the second source and the second source to work. So that's what that's there for. Um, if you go back to the top again, go to the top left corner with the little, little, little three lines and you can switch over to movies. And you can see there's a lot of more categories there like sports, music, all that. Music will be like, um, like MTV, VH1, sports will be all the sports channels of course. If you go to movies, you get all the movie channels, like all the HBOs, all the Showtimes, Stars, Hallmark channel. Go to full screen again. Click on just, just like that. This so this is my favorite one for live TV. Like I said, let me show you a couple more for live TV. Let's go to the top here. Okay, so for live TV, you have Mobdraw. This is my second choice. Then you have Pluto. I'm going to show you Pluto in a second. Um, this one right here, Swiss Dreams. So are the ones for the main, main ones for the live TV, but let's go into Pluto real quick and show you Pluto. You may be familiar with it already, uh, but if you're not, it's the only one that has actually a TV guide. So it's live TV and you have a TV guide that shows you everything that's playing. And then you can just go down to where you want to watch you and symptoms of a to find what you want to watch. Let's say you want to watch I Spy, just click on I Spy and it'll open up. If you push to the left on the remote, the, the TV guy comes up again. And if you want to watch movies and TV shows just without without that are not that are not live, you can click on free movies and TV shows, and they'll come up here on the bottom. And then you can just find what you want to watch and click on it. All right. But the main thing is live TV. Um. Then I'm gonna show you. You have a couple of sports ones here. I don't I can't control the sport ones I mean I, I, I have them on here because they're they're working right now but they don't always work forever so just hope that they work but the main ones that you want to use for sports if this ones ain't working for those for those three sports you could go to your Cody and let's go into this Cody you have two Cody's you have this Cody right here that says Cody of course on it and then you have a backup titanium um, for Spanish people, I usually on titanium, I put the Spanish um, Cody. This is Spanish Cody that I could install on that one. Now, if you're not Spanish, I just put a regular, a different Cody. So you have two Cody's. And let's just go into the main Cody here. And I'll show you how it works. This one has the, basically um, to go to the sports to try to watch pay-per-view events. I can't guarantee that you're going to get all the pay-per-view events, but this is where you go if you're going to be able to watch them. Um, sometimes you can get them on the live TV channels too. If you go to sports on the live TV programs, they have like Box Nation. So sometimes like the fights are on there. Yeah, has a UFC um, channel. So you might be able to watch the UFC channels on there. Um, per reviews, but here, usually you get them better. I don't usually use this ones for movies and TV shows. You could watch movies and TV shows on these, but I usually don't because they're slower than the regular programs. I mean, knock me off there for a second, so let's just try to go back in here again. All right, so we're gonna go to sports. And down here, you see the NHL, NBA, and it keeps knocking me off. This may be, this may be because I just installed it, so it's, it takes a little bit to catch on. So I'm gonna go to settings real quick and do a little trick that I know how to do. Just go to apps. And 
and then go down to Cody, click on it, and force stop it. So that's when you do that, it like resets it. And then we're gonna just get out of it again and go into it again. Be careful when you if you try to do what I just did, uh, that you don't hit uninstall and uninstall the, the app. If you completely uninstall it, you won't be able to put it back on. You will have to really be bring it to me and I will have to put it back on and I charge five to ten dollars depending on the app per app to install it to reinstall it back again. So be very careful if you try to do what I just did. You shouldn't have to do it. It just you know just something that I know because it's brand new and I just put the programs on there. And this one just keeps knocking me off. This might be that um, sometimes when this happens is because I have two different codes installed. So I might have to remove that other code so that because it's probably interfering for the one. And this is the best one. So you don't really need the other one. This was more for a backup. But if it's gonna keep doing this to to the other one, I'm just gonna remove the one and keep this one because this one's the best one. Alright, so what I'm gonna do watch now. I wanna do to remove apps. What you wanna do is go back to the main. If you wanna remove something like uh have a a those section on here so if you want to remove that you could actually just go to settings and uninstall it but just go to apps and i'm going to remove that titanium one just because it's interfering with my other one here so we're going to uninstall and then we're going to try the other one again Sorry, this is interfering with my video. Slowing me down. All right, so let's try this again. Sports, okay, so for sports. You go down here under sports you don't click on sports you just go down below where the other parts are right here and there is nba nfl nhl and you see it hasn't knocked me off that's because that other code was interfering with this one so and there you go and uh, live pay-per-view events on the right on the right right there on the right corner live pay-per-view events and then for the nfl NHL and NBA, you go on here, you just click on it. Let's just try that real quick. Actually, I'm gonna have to wait because as you see on the top, it's doing an upload. So I'm gonna wait till that finishes. That's something that it needs to do every time you um, open it for the first time, which you won't have to worry about this hopefully after, after it happens now, usually it just does it at the beginning. Okay, so I finished doing the upload without with um off the camera here, so you didn't have to wait for all that. Um, like I said, just go to sports, go down here, and go into that. All the games will come up, including the NBA games if they're all on the NFL and NHL. You just gotta go to each, to scroll down until you see the all the different ones. Hold on a second. Okay, so like I said, you just go into it. gonna come up like this all you do is scroll down you see all the NHL stuff NBA and just keep scrolling down this is games that are scheduled keep scrolling down oh and there's no, no NFL games Schedule yet because um, I guess there's no games on 
Yeah, it's too early. It's 8 a.m. in the morning. I'm sure they'll put them on here later today. Oh, there they are. There you go. So that's at least two games on here. So you just go to the click on the game, and then you just give you give you some links to try, and you should be able to watch the games. All right. So that's how you do that. Um, if you on this one, if you wanna, you got Christmas movies too. But if you wanna watch the adult section, um, keep kids away from this right now, so you could so I could show you how to get to those without them knowing. All you wanna do is okay. I'll tell you now. We're gonna go right here into systems. Go to add-ons. And then go to my add-ons. Go to my add-ons. Hold on. Go to all add-ons. And then at the bottom here, you'll see like you can scroll down and see them, but they're all at the bottom. So they just went up, and you can see them. All right. That's how you get to those. Um, that's pretty much it for that. Um, let me just go back to the home page here. Go down to the apps again, just so I can show you a couple more things here. All the programs you will have is like um, this, this one right here, that H thing. Um, this is where you go to get like to like watch like local news channels and stuff like that. You'll have like WGAL and other local channels. You can actually look up local channels from your area depending on where you're from you put the um the state and the town that you're in and it should give you the information all right um you have this right here the nba the nfl and the and the college football one you actually need the mouse on the remote and this is the keyboard that has a mouse you can see you see the mouse on, on the screen you'll need that on these programs on this one this one this one and then on this one here that's an, another adult um program once you go into it you'll need the mouse to be able to click on stuff to be able to watch it if you, without the mouse you won't be able to do it so if you're using the regular remote which is this remote it does not have a mouse on it so you that's why you need the keyboard so i'm providing a keyboard along with the remote so that you actually have the ability to use these four programs right here which is that one and the and the and the football, I mean, and, and the sports ones, which, <coughs> which like I said, I can't guarantee those sports ones will work all the time. Um, right now they're working, so I'm gonna leave them on there for you. Um, but if they stop working, I can help you with it. Um, sometimes it lets you update it yourself. If it lets you update it, great. If it doesn't, then you're gonna have to go to um Cody for the sports and, or try the um. Like you could go actually go into like Live Lounge and try the sports schedule program on there or just go to the live TV. And if you know what network, if you go into this one and you know what network they're playing, you could either go to, to the sports section and try to find it on this under the sports. Or if you go to the entertainment and you go, let's say it's playing on Fox. Like the Eagles game is on Fox, or you just go to Fox, click on Fox, and the game should be on live. Um, so there's different ways to look up look up the games. I can't guarantee that you're gonna get them every single time, but you should be able to get every single game most of the time. All right. So hopefully, you know, you won't have any issues with that. On those on those um, sports programs, you, sh you should be able to get them all the time if as long as they're working. So, all right. And then you have a WWE um, network here that you can watch wrestling all day if you want. And then you have all the other programs that you can play with. I mean, I already show you the movie programs. I'll show you the live TV programs. Um, hope you like it. Hope you enjoy it. Um, these boxes basically usually need updated maybe every four to six months. So every four to six months, you should at least you should try to reach out to me, bring it to me. I'll delete all the programs and reinstall everything with the new. And if any new programs are out, I put the new programs in. Just like any technology, everything upgrades. So you should upgrade them every four to six months. And I charge $30. As long as you bring the box to me, I charge $30 to do it. If I had to go pick it up and then return it back to you, it's gonna be anywhere from 40 to 45 bucks, depending on how far you are. I charge 10 to $15 to do the trip there and, and then take it back to you again. But I do it if I need to. 
um, to help you out. But um, like I said, thirty dollars if you bring it to me, forty to forty-five depending on where you live. If I had to come get it from you, all right. So do that every four to six months, and it's not a bad deal. I mean, thirty dollars every three times a year is only ninety bucks a year. If you do it twice a year, it's only sixty bucks a year. So it's better than having cable any day. Um, hope you enjoy it, and let me know if you have any issues. If you, if for any reason it starts working before four months, and I need to do an uh, upgrade, I do that for free. But you need to bring the box to me, and I'll. And I have no problem doing it for free, all right? Thank you.